alcoholism really took out my career and really took out my life to some point. And I found myself back in my hometown about nine years ago, living in the house that I grew up in and really feeling hopeless. Like my career was gone, my reputation was gone. I didn't think I had anyone, any hope. And, you know, I, I mustered enough energy and enough intestinal fortitude to get to the mirror and just say, God, I need help. And so I checked into a facility in Middletown. It was like my fifth attempt. And I went there for four days and I hadn't picked up a drink or used a drug in eight and a half years since I checked into Rushford. <laughs> I mean, Vin's a great example of being at the top of his world, his professional world, an all-star in the NBA, and then to be brought down by drugs and alcohol, um, and now building himself back up and, and giving that message that hope is possible, recovery is possible. So understanding what I've gone through in my life um, in addiction, um, and then you know, having eight and a half years of sobriety, I've been given this amazing platform. I felt like it's my duty, like, to provide hope and use this platform that I've been given to help save lives. It's my purpose. Um, I felt like I've gone through everything that I've gone through to get to this moment to help those people who have gotten to that point of their lives. And my goal today for my second annual 5K is to uh, bring awareness to the disease of uh, alcoholism and addiction, the opioid, everything that goes on in the world of addiction and then introduce uh, people to recovery. I like being at this event. We do a lot of these type events um, for addiction awareness. And usually when we do an event like this, it's the same people that come. People that already know somebody who's struggling. But often people who, who don't know someone yet, they think they don't need to hear this. They don't need to be here for this message. So when we have someone like Vin Baker come up, just his celebrity, will bring in people that will hear our message that wouldn't normally hear it. That's why I think these kind of events are very powerful. Most importantly, I think the Vin Baker Foundation is doing really important work uh, to help those affected and their families by drug and alcohol addiction. Uh, I think drug and alcohol addiction, and especially with the opioid crisis, affects families from all walks of life. And so I think as a community, it affects all of us. See, behind us is this, what we call our Memorial Poster Project. This is just a third of my total project. These are the Connecticut residents, people from Connecticut that have passed due to some kind of drug-related problem. And we want to pay honor to them and their families and to, and to put faces to the numbers that we hear about all the people that are struggling and dying these days. So we want to remember them, their beautiful faces. And he's supposed to talk a little bit about them, a couple of traits of theirs, like my son says, artist and musician. Um, there, there's, there's hairdressers, there's stylists, there's glass blowers, there's also descriptions of these people, like they're loving and compassionate and, and daughters and fathers. So we, we tell a little bit about them to make them real. And if you look at these posters, you'll see that they look just like us. We used to think of people with drug addiction. We had a different vision in our head of what it was like a drug addict looked like. But this is the reality these days. They look like you and me and our family and our neighbors. This event is special because it's obviously for a good cause. It's for something that I believe in and it's just something that should be more focused on in society. Well, the most important thing is it raises awareness um, and it, it eliminates the stigma that goes with drug addiction. And I think that's the number one problem that we've got with addiction in America today. Other, I mean, there's many problems, but I think the stigma and um, the lack of community support, I think, sometimes prohibits us from doing what we really want to do. But these runs are public. Uh, a lot of people out in the, in the community, uh, it draws attention, um, it creates an atmosphere, and certainly the running community is a healthy group. Uh, many, you know, have overcome addictions like Baker and Baker to, uh, to become healthy again. So we think it's really, uh, you know, a good community effort overall. It also helps with fitness and keeping everybody out. We love it because we get to, you know, meet and hang out ahead of time and chit chat and make new friends. Um, and then we get the run in. You know, all the exposure that we can get as, a, as, a, as an entity, as far as our, our foundation, as far as recovery is concerned, let's just save lives. Let's just get people on the right track and, and living a, a sober life. Okay. Runners, are we ready? Get set, go. Thank you so much, Old Saber. Thank you so much for getting you guys coming out.
let's keep this going with every single day that we come, every year we do this, we're going to save more and more lives. Thank you so much.